Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva Venas of painfreeforlifepilaris.com located in San Diego, California. I specialize in working with people who live with chronic pain or have some kind of chronic condition. And here on YouTube, I share exercise ideas that will help you feel and move better and will help increase your strength, your flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I would like to share some stretching and mobility mobility exercises you can do before skiing so you don't pull a muscle or tweak your lower back or injure yourself in any other way. Um, the first exercise we are going to do is a hip and lower back warm up. So just take a seat, bring your feet apart on your mat, put your hands behind you, elongate your spine for good posture and just tilt your knees to the side. Your left leg is going to go into internal hip rotation while the right one will go into external hip rotation. These are very important movements when it comes to skiing and you definitely don't want to do this without your hips warmed up because this way you can increase your internal external hip uh, rotation and you can avoid hip and knee injuries. So just do this a few times, drop your knees side to side and we are continuing with another hip stretch. So just come up in a half kneeling position, one of your feet is ahead of you, put your hands on your hips and just sway your hips side to side. And feel the pelvis tilt to the left and to the right and just allow your ribcage, your shoulders to move with the hips as well. And on top of this, we can add the lateral rotation as well. So as the hips are dropping side to side, we are counter rotating our ribcage. As the hip goes to the left, the ribcage tilts to the right. As the hips go to the right, the ribcage tilts to the left. Let's do this on the other side as well. So the left foot goes forward, you're on your right knee, the hips are going to the right and you're tilting your shoulders and your ribcage to the left. And as the hips go to the left, the ribcage and the shoulders are going to the right. Let's do this a few more times. This is a really nice warm-up exercise that not only warms up your hips but also sort of tunes in your ribcage and your hips to move together and do exactly what they were designed to do. So now we'll add a little twist as well because you're going to need that twisting, rotating ability as you're skiing. Let's do this one more time. Excellent. Now you're going to put your leg up to the side. Hold on to your hips and just rock your upper body forward and this will elongate your inner thigh muscles, will increase your ability to so-called abduct the hips, bring the hips away from the midline of your body and then let's bend this leg. Another important joint that you want to warm up before skiing is your ankle. So as you're leaning into your boots uh, as you're skiing, you're going downhill, you have to have that ability to bring your shin forward. If you don't have that ability or your ankles are really stiff, then your knees can take up a beating or your hips can take up a beating. Uh, if you don't, um, if you're not able to drop into this position uh, on your skis and in your boots, then you won't be able to bend your knees properly. Mm, let's do it on the other side as well, so just put your leg up to the side. Hinge your upper body forward and delicious inner thigh stretch. You're going to need this mobility on the slopes. So just diligently do your warm up. Now let's shorten that leg and just shift forward. Think that you're sending your knee forward towards the toes. And just increase that ankle dorsiflexion. If you're tight in the lower part of your calf, then you may feel a nice intense stretch down here, which is a good thing, you need that mobility. Let's do it one more time. Okay, <clears throat> and then I'm going to have you put your leg up to the side again. 
You also need good mobility in your shoulders, in your rib cage. So just reach over your head and elongate your side body. And then let's warm up that shoulder a little bit. Circle your arm around. Feel free to move your rib cage with your arm. On the ski slopes too, they have to move together. So and give both of them a nice stretch. You can even put your hands down on your mat so you get a nice cross stretch on your back. And let's do this on the other side. Just reach and let gravity elongate your side body as your arm is dangling over your head and gravity is pulling down on it, giving you a delicious stretch in your ribcage, lower back area. And now let's circle that arm around. I hope this stretch or these stretches are feeling really good on your body. I want to mention that I have a whole stretching routine that you can access through my website. Now put both of the hands down. If you visit my website painfreeforlifepilates.com you will find a nice stretching routine um, that contains about 50 stretching exercises and they are all excellent, they are all delicious and help you get a good stretch in your whole body. Um, if you would like more help and personalized guidance, make sure to hit me up. You can go to my website and uh, just schedule a free 15 minute phone consultation so we can get things moving. If you need more exercise ideas, then visit my YouTube channel and just scroll through the different playlists and uh, you should find uh, plenty of things for lower back pain, hip pain, sciatica, shoulder pain, neck pain, you call it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these stretches and I'll see you soon.